Hello there, everybody. Jeremy Corbyn was on Cross Question on LBC last night, and I was listening to it at work. What's weird is, at about 11pm, I happened to cross paths with the man himself in Islington. And I said, hello. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. It's just a weird little coincidence that occurred. The right-wing media, of which Ian Dale is a proud representative, are always preoccupied with trying to catch out Jeremy Corbyn for their next big headline, smear piece or hatchet job. <laughs> and this clip demonstrates exactly that. Jeremy Corbyn is asked a question, a question I would argue is based on a false premise to begin with, and he answers it very straightforwardly, and with little ambiguity. Just check out Ian Dale thinking he has got himself a scoop because he wants so desperately to have one instead of actually listening to the answer to the question he has asked. There was a YouGov survey at the weekend which showed that undecided voters, who, as you well know, they, they decide elections generally, mm. they much prefer Rishi Sunak to Keir Starmer. Now, what, what do you put that down to? Um... I think he puts himself across as being as new, of course, which is what he is, but also he probably trying to present himself as being um, financially and politically competent. I don't think he is, but it's an image that has been very carefully constructed over the last couple of months. But we are very early into his premiership. So can I, can I, help I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know you, you can help me in a moment. No, no, hang on a second. <laughs> but hang on. Because um, you just said you didn't think Keir Starmer was financially or politically competent. No, I didn't say that. You, I, said you did say that. Present, no, I said the presentation of Sunak was that, that he was financially competent. Right. That's what I said. I heard you to say that you didn't think his starmer was financially or politically no, competent. No, that is not... Well, I'm glad to have given you the opportunity <laughs> to clear that up, because I, I, did I, I... Was, was I alone in hearing that? I thought that again. was going to be a great news line, Jeremy. Uh, yeah. You've let me down. Uh, I, I'm sorry, sorry to have let you down. But my fundamental point... I've never liked this about Jeremy Corbyn. He's far too pleasant to these people. There's nothing funny about this. The guy's not listening to your answers. Even when Corbyn says, I didn't say that, Dale arrogantly states, you did say that. He also turns to his Tory mate, the school's minister, Nick Gibb, and asks, was I alone in hearing that? Deary me. How many clues did Ian Dale need to clock on that Corbyn was talking about Sunak and not Starmer? Corbyn described him as, quote, new, which of course he is, unquote. And, quote, we are very early into his premiership, unquote. It couldn't be more obvious. It's just so bloody sad to see the same tactics still being used against Corbyn after all these years. Corbyn should just stop appearing on these programmes, or, if he does decide to show up, be far more hostile towards those determined to twist his words. Anyway, just a quick one for you there. Cheers for watching.